Hey everybody. Ciao tutti. Salut. Hola. Chesk. Konnichiwa. An yang haseo. I think is how you say it in Korean. Welcome to everybody. Hey Steel. Hey Mara. Hey. A few people whose names I can't pronounce. <laughs> Welcome, Anna. Ciao, Chiara. Chesk, Anna. Hey, CJ. Hi, Alicia. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm a little crooked here. I can't get it to straighten out. Hi, Joe. Hey, Priska. Hi, Rose. How are you doing? How is everybody today? I am glad to see you all here. I'm glad we're connecting. The internet seems to be good. That's a good thing. Um, so let's get started. Uh, hi, Andrea. Salut, Fanny. Hi, Patty. Ciao, Maria. Hey, Birgit. Hi, Liam. Hey, Karen. Salut, Celine. Hey, Phoebe. Oh, boy, we've got a lot of people here. Great. I'm happy to see it. Uh, how are you all? It's been a kind of crazy week for me. As I have told some of you, I was away uh, with my parents, visiting my parents um, the last few days. And I just got back last night, so I am a little um, <laughs> not as organized as I like to be. But here we go. Um so yeah, that's how I am today. I am not as organized. Um, Rose is on holiday for a week. That's always nice. Um, glad to uh, uh, see you here, taking time out of your holiday to be with us. Um, ciao, Lorella, or Lorenza, sorry. Um, hey, Marion. Guten Abend. Uh, Liam says, did I see Pride in Washington, D.C.? Um, I did not. Um, I was away um, this weekend, I, I, and I really haven't had a chance to catch up with everything that's uh, been going on. So, um, But that does um, cause me to say happy Pride to everybody. We've been celebrating Pride all month um, on the Mika Fan Club. And I, I know a lot of places, uh, particularly in the U.S., um, celebrate June um, as Pride Month. And uh, so we're taking our lead from that. And we have a bunch of activities going on on the fan club uh, to celebrate Pride. If you haven't seen that, I urge you to go over to MikaFanClub.com and uh, you can maybe get involved. We have a photo competition going on right now. I'll talk more about that in a minute. And uh, we have a concert planned for the end of the month. Uh, so yeah, um, so happy Pride to everybody and happy birthday to anybody who might be celebrating or have recently celebrated a birthday. Um, I am, um, I always, try to remember to wish a happy birthday, happy anniversary to anybody celebrating any kind of milestones. Um, so uh, yeah, that's how I generally start. For those of you who are new, uh, who haven't been here before, my name is Deb. I'm the administrator of MikaFanClub.com uh, and this is our weekly, almost weekly, gathering. And uh, yeah, that's how I usually start. I try to welcome everybody and um, then I dive into some news. So um, let me see what you guys are talking about before I get started. Um, I see Rose has an extra ticket for Isle of Wight. Uh, the Isle of Wight Festival is, um, Mika is performing there this sad, sad Sunday, Sunday the 18th. And um, yeah, um, so if you didn't get a ticket, I believe it's sold out and Rose has an extra ticket. So if you want to go, um, she's the person rack penguin 63 is the person you should, uh, contact. Um, let's see here. Um, Andrea says she booked, uh, her trip to Catolica to see Mika. Uh, Mika will be, uh, kicking off a 
bunch of dates in Italy starting with July 8th at Cattolica. Um, so I hope you have a great time, Andrea. Um, awesome that you're going to that. Uh, what else are you talking about here? Um, if you hear noises in the background, that's my dog, uh, Crosby. He is down here with me today because um, my husband is not home and uh, uh, Crosby cries if he's not in the room with at least one of us. He's a little spoiled, I guess. So um, yeah, he's right there and hopefully we'll be good. Uh, not like last time. <laughs> and uh, if you hear chewy noises or you know, strange things in the background. It's him, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so, um, let's see what else. Uh, uh, happy pride. Everybody is saying here. That's great. Um, yes, CJ is right. Please get involved with our pride activities. Um, CJ has been working really hard behind the scenes, and uh, it would be really, um, if you have any questions about anything and you want to get involved, she is the person, uh, the best person to contact. She is just Panther CJ. You'll see her here on the screen. Um, Uh, let's see, some other new people have joined. Welcome. Ede subito sera oggi. Eh, let's say, Ede di subito sera oggi. And it will be um, this evening. Is that it? Um, Babette at home, welcome. Cassis, welcome. It's good to see you guys um, joining us here today. Uh, CJ asks, how is Crosby? Crosby is good. He's just, um, you know, a little needy. <laughs> so he's here, uh, but he's doing good. Um, hi, B. I didn't see you sneak in here. Hi, Sylvia. Ciao. <laughs> Andrea, you do hear him? <laughs> well, yeah, he's chewing on a um, rawhide, and he's really, really um, attacking it. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm, I'm not surprised if you do hear him. Um, Vero Bot says, a week after Talents, or Talents, I booked Chieti. Um, oh, that's great. You're going to go um, take a trip to Italy to see Mika there. That's great. Hi, Camille. Salut. Uh, is he chewing a hole in the door? Is it that loud? Can you hear him? <laughs> it's uh, like I said, it's a rawhide, rawhide stick, you know. So he's he's really really attacking it. Um, guess I guess he's getting all his frustration out. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd tell him to keep it down, but I'm sure he won't. Um, let's see here. A lot of new people joining here whose names I don't recognize. Welcome. Uh, Phil de Nature, Celine KS4, welcome. Nadia Favaro, welcome. Alamari Cialdella, welcome. Elisabetta, hi, ciao. Um, yeah, let's see here. I guess I should start with the news. Hi, Mariana. Um, let's start with some news. We'll start with... Uh, the Bristol news, because I know a lot of people here are going to Bristol. We talked a little bit about the Isle of Wight. That's next um, Sunday. That's Mika's next gig, um, the Isle of Wight Festival, which is in the UK. A few days later, he will perform again in the UK at Bristol, at the Bristol Sounds Festival. Um, I'm going to that. I'm pretty excited, and I know a lot of you are. And uh, if you are going and are not active on our website forum, uh, you may not know that a group of us are getting together for dinner the Tuesday night before the show. Uh, the show is Wednesday. So Tuesday night, a group of us are getting together uh, to have dinner and drinks. And if you'd like to join us, um, please get in touch with me or go over to the forum, sign up. 
and register a free account if you haven't yet and let us know that you're coming. Andrea has been thankfully uh, helping out to uh, arrange this and she needs to have a an idea of what you might want to eat there. We're eating at a pizza place that has a pretty good menu. It has gluten-free and vegan choices. So if you haven't let Andrea know yet uh, what you want to eat, let her know, please. Um, if you want to join us and you haven't let us know yet, please, like I said, let me know or go over to the website and uh, let us know over there. Um, that will be great. Um, Rose, I don't think um, that you've been on the forum to see, but um, we do have a menu there and you can choose what you're going to, um, uh, what you would like to eat if you're going to be there the night before. Maybe you're not coming until um, the next day. I don't know if your plans have changed. Um, anyway, um, what else about Bristol? I wanted to tell you. Um, we are, I see some of you are coming the day of and uh, the day of the show and we'll just see you there. We'll see you in the queue or, uh, you know, once we get inside there. So, uh, the gates open at 630 for Bristol. If you're going, I know that a lot of us will be there, um, hours ahead of time, um, just to try to ensure we get to the front of the stage. Um, so we will see you in the queue or inside um, sometime after 6.30. I understand that there is a curfew um, for the venue of 10.30 on Wednesday night. They originally told me 11, but they published an FAQ today, or yeah, I guess early today, and it says in there the curfew is 10.30. So that means that whatever time Mika takes the stage, um, he will be done and will need to be moving out of there by 1030. So if that helps you as far as transportation, uh, figuring out, you know, um, if you're going home that night, um, yeah, it'll be done by 1030 or so. Um, but, um, I did want to, I did have a little bit of a kind of surprise news. Um, I think we are going to... Um, have a meet and greet with Mika after the Bristol Sounds show. Um, they are checking to see if there is a suitable space for us and if there is uh, security available for us to meet with him for a little bit after the, um, after the show. Uh, the thing about that is I am not sure how many fans will able to will be able to get into the meet and greet. Um, if it's a small space, we may only be able to do 15 or 20. So um, at some point in the next day or so, once they tell me, um, I will put out the call uh, for you all to send an email in to me and I will do a random draw of uh, people who can attend, but I will say that we will probably give priority to UK fans um, who may not have ever seen Mika at a meet and greet or ever at all before, um, but we will try to get as many people in as we can, um, if it even happens. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of of um, moving parts to this, and there's a lot of ifs. So um, hopefully there will be a uh, meet and greet, and if there is a meet and greet, then hopefully we will all be able to get in. Everybody who wants to get in will be able to, um, but there are no guarantees about anything. Um, hi, Deb. Um, I was just talking about the Bristol uh, show, the Bristol Festival and saying that uh, we hope that there will be a meet and greet afterward. Um, but as I'm saying, there's just, you know, like, don't shoot me if it doesn't happen. And also, even if it does happen, I'm not sure how many people will be able to go. So please, you know, don't shoot me. <laughs> I am uh, truly just the messenger here. Uh, so we will hopefully, hopefully, 
uh, be able to have a meet and greet. And hopefully we will be able to get um, everybody in that wants to get in. Um, we'll see. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on the forum and um, watch for um, my post saying that I'm accepting emails um, so uh, I can do a drawing um, to see, you know, if I have to, if I have to um, choose, which is an awful thing to have to do because, um, you know, <laughs> I hate to, I hate to have to choose. It's hard. So anyway, yes, we are, we are at least trying and we'll see what happens. So, um, yes, any, um, we will certainly try to, um, accommodate people who have never seen Mika before or, you know, UK fans, I think. I will post about it on the, I will post on a, on the event page, Jord, and also, um, on the forum in the discussion thread. So, yeah. So yeah, just keep an eye on that um, because I, I don't have a definitive, um, you know, positive <laughs> answer yet, but our fingers are crossed as usual. And uh, yeah, so we hope that's going to happen. Um, Rose says, forecast for Bristol yesterday wasn't great. Um, hmm. Well, it's still almost a week away, so a lot can change in that time. I'm not going to panic yet. Um, I really, I don't really mind if it's cool. I just hope it's dry. I just don't, I don't like the idea of having to stand out there in the rain for hours because there's no cover, and that's just not going to be very, <laughs> not very comfortable or great for any of us. So let us hope for dry. I don't care about the temperature as much as dry. Um, so anyway, I think um, that is most of the Bristol news, but I did have one other thing. We are planning um, a fan action for Bristol, and um, Anna is here to talk a little bit about that because it was her idea, and um, she has been working on it. And I'm sorry for those of you who might not be going to Bristol. It, this might be kind of boring for you. I promise we will talk about other things uh, in a few minutes. Um, so bear with us while we talk about the Bristol stuff since that's coming up um, in six days. So um, Anna, if you're ready, um, I am going to try to bring you in. Let's hope we can connect and um, we can hear a little bit about the fan action that you um, had the idea for. Okay, I am going to try to bring you in now. One more time, because I think that didn't work. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, and you? Oh, pretty good. I hope everybody can hear you over my my crunching dog here. Oh, I, I don't hear okay. him. Okay, good. <laughs> so it's okay, I think. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, Anna, so Anna had this great idea. Um, if you have seen any of the last couple of shows, Mika has been. Um, he's got definitely a flower theme. Um, to these shows, and um, Anna had an idea. I'll let her talk about it. Uh, yes, uh, one day after the concert in uh, Talons, I had this idea that Mika has a lot of flowers on the stage now, and uh, maybe we can change our part uh, as a garden as well. And I had this idea to make a big, big flowers made of a crepe paper or tissue paper like this one for example this is this uh, rainbow example but i have another one because i had to have some <laughs> tests so this one is from a uh, crepe paper it's very fluffy moving or this one colorful that's beautiful <laughs> yes yeah, so uh of course i cannot make everything by myself and uh, for more, I'm traveling uh, in the, at the plane and I will have only my small backpack. So 
I count on other fans and I think we'll have fun uh, while queuing uh, in front of the venue. So I would like, like to ask uh, those who are coming to, to Bristol, if you could bring some uh, rolls of uh, clip paper or sheets of uh, tissue paper, I, I will show you, you can even fold them like this and put it in your luggage so it's very small. And I've already prepared a few, you see, this is folded and uh, this is a little handle here and uh, uh, waiting for the show we can create all these beautiful things. So I hope you you will be able to help us in, in making making flowers. I plan to bring tissue paper. I have I know I have upstairs a pack of multicolored tissue paper. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best one, the, the multicolor. Yeah, and um, so I know I can bring that. And like you said, it lays flat in the luggage, so that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But what do we need to, like, fasten it? Or, you know, like, do you need scissors? Do you need tape? Oh, scissors, scissors and, uh, uh, I don't know, a string or thread or something to tie everything okay. up okay. and make a handle. Okay. I will bring some with me, but maybe it will be not enough. Okay. I will bring scissors, small scissors, because I, I bought specially ex for this occasion, small scissors, to be able to take them into the plane, because normally mm. you are not allowed. Right. But I hope some of, our, of you, some of uh, fans from the UK, can bring small scissors, because mm, it may happen that the security will not allow to bring the, the scissors in the venue, so right. you have to uh, be, uh, uh, you have to maybe sacrifice <laughs> the scissors. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it, it, we will not need a lot. Uh, not everybody has to have scissors mm -hmm. because two, three people will be cutting the paper, and other ones will be folding. It's like a fan. It's very easy to, to, to make, actually. Okay. You fold the paper like a fan, you put the string, and after that, the, the be most beautiful part is to create the flower, all of this. So okay. I think well, it will be very fun. I don't know how much. I'll try to do something in advance, but I don't know if I'll be able to. But I will bring the paper <laughs> and bring string. And um, they did say on their FAQ for the festival that anything that might be used as a weapon <laughs> is not permitted. So. <laughs> If they would, yeah. scissors might be so. Exactly. Um, if might be different. Oh, somebody says they have a car. Oh, Rose will have a car. Maybe we could throw everything in her car um, before we go. Oh, okay. In. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it might be useful. Yes. Yeah. So um, anyway, um, but I think it's a great idea. They look beautiful. At least the ones you yeah. make look beautiful. <laughs> once, once another one. <laughs> <laughs> the ones I make might not, they may not look so nice. Uh, you know, everybody is, well, people are saying that, you know, we should bring a banana because of uh, Mika's the banana. Uh, little song. The banana. My, my yeah. flower ended up looking like a banana. I don't know. I have a little banana like this, but what, what can I do with it? Throw it on the stage? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> then you won't have it. So, yeah. No. The flowers, I thought at the beginning that we could use the flowers during um, a tiny love song, but this is the fifth or sixth song on the set list, so it's, it's a little bit late. So I think we can start with flowers from the beginning. From the beginning. We can start the show now with uh, uh, Love Today, so we can use our flowers as pom-poms. That sounds good to me. And dance with. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Well, well, I will, um, like I said, I will bring tissue paper and hopefully other Great. people will do and maybe some people are crafty like you and will have things like sort of, yes, I hope so. <laughs> if you, I guess, you know, if you have it half prepared and you have it cut to a certain point, then all you have to do is kind of fluff it up when you yes yes this is the last part yes uh, there is a lot of uh, um, tutorials of YouTube. I've posted mine on the uh, on the forum, so you can watch them as well. 
and you can start uh, to cut the paper and bring it bring it in this form okay it's almost oh. done okay i would so I'll... i hope it'll be yeah. great well i think and i good. hope it will not be raining yeah because <laughs> paper rain. and rain <laughs> yeah that will not be good we'll have a lot of soggy flowers oh my well <laughs> We will just think positive thoughts that it's dry, 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 dry. So <laughs> good. Yes. Well, and um, I, I think that uh, it would, it'll just be, it'll be beautiful if we can pull it off. So um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> so, well, thank you, Anne. Anyway, I, I invite everybody to help and to try to be more creative, even at home. Yes. And, are you going to Isle of Wight or are you just going to no, Bristol? No, no, no. I'm going to Bristol directly the day of the, of, of the show. So actually I will be uh, at the venue about, I don't know, 3 p.m. Between okay. 2 and 3 p.m. Because okay. I'm going to London and I, I take the bus to Bristol. Okay. All right. I will see you in less than a week then. Yes. <laughs> I'm <Great>. so happy. <laughs> Me too. Too. Me too. All right. Well, thank you so much. And thank you thank for the idea you. and for the creativity, the, the creative spark. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll do our best. So, yes. <laughs> okay. We'll have fun. Yes. For sure. Yes. Thank well, thank you. Thank you. So you. Much, and we'll see. Bye, you. everybody. Bye -bye. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm waiting for your help. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 See you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And um, I'm not crafty at all. So I apologize. It's um, kind of disastrous whenever I attempt anything, but we'll see how we do. I will at least bring the paper. And uh, let's see here. Um, Steele says, is there, what time are we planning to enter the venue? And is there lunch or breakfast? Um, not any lunch or breakfast planned, unfortunately, because I think people will be sort of focused on um, getting to the venue to wait. Um, so there's the dinner the night before, maybe we'll do something afterwards since it's um, a fairly early night. Um, so let's, we'll see. Um, yes, Steele, my, my flowers are a beautiful disaster. I, most arts and crafts things I attempt are not so beautiful disasters. <laughs> so, um, and I also, one little note uh, for anybody else who's going to Bristol, we are um, probably going to also send Mika real flowers. Um, I will order them and try to get them to his dressing room. And um, if you want to contribute, you can get, uh, find me there and uh, we will, um, I'll collect from you then, but it won't be more than a a pound or two because there will be a lot of people who want to give I am sure so um, the venue Rose the venue says they have a um, snack bar I guess and a, and a regular bar and it's open and from like I think three o'clock on I think I read and you don't need a ticket to get into it um, you don't need a ticket to get in until you know the gates officially open at 6 30. so i think that if you wanted to get something to eat it's right there but other people who have been there um have said that there are a lot of restaurants in, in the area right near the venue too so um i think what i think we should be okay as far as eating while we're waiting um Thank you. Thank you for noticing my flag. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, my nice nails. My nails are not so nice. Um, they're kind of <laughs> on their last legs, but I'm making them last until I get ready for London. So, uh, uh, Andrea says tickets needed 30 minutes before gates open. Well, I guess that makes sense. Um, let's see here. I'm just scrolling back a little bit to see what I missed, what you were talking about when we were, when I was talking with Anna. Oh, about the song. Well, 
I'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, I guess we're done talking about Bristol, so we'll move on to other things. So yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, who haven't seen, um, at the end of the last couple of shows um, that Mika has done, um, while the audience is kind of filing out, out leaving uh, after the show is over, over the um, sound system, they've been playing a new song by Mika, um, the lyrics talk about sweetie banana that's why some of us are talking about banana bananas here on the um in the chat uh it is uh in french so i don't know whether we'll hear it in the uk or not um i think it might be part of his french album that he has been working on um so yeah it's got kind of suggestive lyrics which is not unusual for me i guess um but you can hear a clip of it um i believe we have it on the forum um and some people have posted videos where you can hear the song pretty clearly um at the end of the last couple of shows um so yeah i am not even going to try to sing it for you but the lyrics do say something about sweetie banana bye bye sweetie banana something like that um it's kind of catchy the song is kind of catchy but uh yeah that's why there is banana talk in case you were wondering and this is moving because crosby is at my feet bumping into my stand here so i guess i better hold this um Okay, Mara says she is bringing her rainbow flag. Okay, they said um, not to bring flags um, to the festival. It says right on their FAQ not to bring flags. So um, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> they may, you know, confiscate it at the, at the uh, gate. I'm not sure about that. Oh, you're saying to Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight's different. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, um, uh, the numbering system uh, for the queue. I do not know. I suppose it will... Um, be like Karen says, it will be decided once we get there and we see who's there and how many people and all that. I know some people don't like it and some people do because it keeps things organized. You can leave without losing your place. Um, but you know, um, well, I don't know. It's not, it's not something we do every time. So we'll see, we'll see what happens if people really want it or how they feel about it. Um, uh, Simona says, come to Italy and dance and jump with us. Um, I would love to do that. And I had hoped to do that. It just was a little too expensive uh, for me this year to, to do that. So hopefully in the future, I will be there. I haven't been to Italy for such a long time. Hi, Travis. Hey, Renee. <laughs> Hi, Juliet. Crosby is, he's sort of, he's sort of quieted down. Hi, Vanessa. Charlotte says she cannot believe the banana song is a real song and that maybe he's just trolling us. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I can believe that it's a real song. Uh, we'll see. Um, hi, a bunch of new people have joined Gilda and Monique and Victoire. Welcome, Loopy. Hi, Reishu. Miguel. Hola. Hi, Angela. Um, okay. I think I'm caught up with all the comments. So what else did I have to tell you about as far as Mika goes this week? Um, Mika is, uh, his song, Keep It Simple, the duet he did with Vianney is um, 
a candidate for Chanson de l'Année, am I saying that correctly? Um, the Song of the Year uh, program on, in France. And um, that program is going to be broadcast on June 17th, which is this Saturday. Um, I believe that Mika and Vienna will be there to perform that song. Um, but right now, you have the chance to vote uh, for Mika's song, for that song. And um, if you go to the Instagram account of TF1, uh, you'll find a link there where you can go and uh, vote for that song, Mika and VNA's song. Keep It Simple is number six, I believe. And it does cost, I think, to make the, the voting on your phone. Um, you do have that option if you want to vote for that song. Um, is it live or pre-recorded? Karen asks. I believe it's live. Um, not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's live. Does anybody know for sure? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Anna says it's live. Yeah, and Celine thinks it's live. Yeah, I think it's live. I'm almost almost sure it is. Um, yeah, the consensus seems to be that it is live, so that's great. <laughs> okay, good. Um, a couple of other things related to Mika. Uh, you may have seen, um, if you have been on the forum, um, Mika is going to be doing a and a a question and answer uh, video, like he did for the Japanese fans um, and the Korean fans when he was in those countries uh, last month. Um, he is looking for Italian fans' questions, and then uh, you submit them in the form of a very short video, and then he will have them edited. He'll answer the questions in um, edit you and his answers, um, and they will post it on TikTok and uh, wherever. Um, you have until Monday night to get your questions in. The details for that are on MikaFanClub.com. I posted that in each of the um, discussion threads about each of the Italian gigs that are coming up. So if you um, would like to ask Mika a question about, oh, what his favorite memories of um, Italy are, what the shows in Italy will be like, um, what his favorite food, favorite Italian food is, you know, related to um, Mika's visit to Italy and his, his clear love of the country. So um, yeah, if you have a question like that for him, um, you can submit that in video form and uh, like I said, the details are on uh, our forum. So yeah, we, I know they're looking for questions. Um, Ilex says, yesterday's Zoom, we talked about a live performance of Rain in France. When and where exactly was the concert? I was searching for a video and couldn't find one. Um, I am afraid I can't help you because I was not on the Zoom yesterday. I was in my car um, and um, maybe Karen remembers because she um, is the one who held oh, Prisca says Mika sang rain in Talence and in Le Mans so maybe that's uh, oh yes he sang underwater at Le, in Le Mans and the water from the roof dumped down on him as he was singing that. That was pretty funny. We have, um, I think I have a clip of that on our Instagram here, um, if that's what you're looking for. Um, Kiara is gonna send her question in soon. Good, remember Monday night is the deadline for that. Rose asks, isn't he doing the Q&A for the UK? Um, no, I don't think he can do it. Um, he's got some other things going on. I don't think he's going to have time to put it together in time to do it 
for the UK, but we are hoping that we're going to get the meet and greet in Bristol instead, which, you know, I think is a pretty good trade off. Um, so let's see here. Uh, welcome to people joining, I guess maybe jumping in and jumping out again. I hope not. Come and stay for a while. Patricia, Saulo, Gabriel, uh, Cinzia Rubini. Hi. Ciao. Benvenuto. Benvenuta. Simona's got a question. Great. Alex did mean underwater. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, that mystery has been solved about the underwater. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. Um, what else did I want to mention to you? Oh, um, as you may know, Mika is going to be in Athens on July 1st. He's doing the Rock Wave Festival, and they are giving away a copy of the My Name is Michael Holbrook CD. If you go to their Instagram account, um, you can see the details on that giveaway that they posted that this morning, I think. And um, yeah, if you're looking to own an actual physical uh, copy of that CD, that's, uh, that's one way to get it, right? Uh, ciao, Teresa. How are you, Teresa? Um, Hi, Conwalia. Hi, Co Bofford. Glad to see new people um, joining. Welcome to everybody. Um, you've stumbled into the Mika Fan Club Instagram Live. Uh, no Mika today, <laughs> but um, we are talking about him. So wherever he is, I suppose his ears are burning, as we say. Uh, let's see if there was anything else I wanted to mention to you. Um, I think that was it for the Mika news. So, like I said, I, he'll be on TV in France, I believe, on Saturday for the Chanson de l'Anne. Um, he will be at the Isle of Wight Festival on Sunday. And he will be at the Bristol Sounds Festival in Bristol, UK on Wednesday. Uh, so those are his next couple of shows that are coming up. And hopefully you're going to get to see him. Um, I think that I have covered just about everything that I wanted to to make sure um, to make sure that you're all up to date with everything in Mika world. Um, Camille says Mika should sing "Staring at the Sun" again. Yes, <laughs> maybe he should. Maybe that will, you know, ensure that the sun shines. That would be a good a good thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe singing about rain and underwater is just making it rain more, right? We need to turn it around, especially for Wednesday, because I just can't imagine standing in the rain for hours. That's going to be, uh, that'll be a nightmare. And they said no umbrellas. So that makes it even worse because you just get drenched then. Oh, well. Yes, think sunny thoughts. Uh, hello, Beretta. Rose says, what email address do we need to send our request for the meet and greet to? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't, um, I haven't, um, like, I haven't gotten word yet that there is going to be for sure a meet and greet and I don't know how many people so I haven't um, posted anything about it yet so um, I can't really answer that yet I don't know which email address I'm going to use um, sorry but it'll be in the next day or two because mm, it's getting close so um, I'll I'll post about it when I find out sorry Rose um, Karen says, I really love it if he did some songs that he hasn't sung for years. Um, 
I would agree with that, Karen. I would like to hear certain songs that I haven't heard for a long time. But, you know, we were talking about this, I think, last week about what songs, um, if Mika said, you know, request a song, what would you like to hear? And I was thinking about all these songs. And I think actually my answer would be, if he said, request a song, my answer would be something that I have never heard you sing before, <laughs> like something that you have not something new that you have not sung for us before. Not the Sweetie Banana song, but something that's coming out soon. I think that's what I would request. Not an old song, but an, a brand new one. I don't know, Karen, about No Umbrellas. It says No Umbrellas in their FAQ. So I don't know if they would object to the small ones. Um, Steele says, I have a great idea for a sign to hold at the gig. How often does Mika read them? All the time. Um, a lot of times he'll, if he sees one that catches his fancy, he'll, he'll ask you to pass it up to him and he'll hold it up. So yeah, all the time. So yeah, but, but they do say they, in their FAQ uh, for Bristol Sounds, they said no big banners, no big flags, no, you know, nothing that's going to block other people's view, basically. So that, that's why they said no umbrellas. So, um, yeah. Paulina says, when will Mika join with us on the live, um, on Instagram live? I have no idea. He never, he never lets me know in advance. Non ho un idea. Paulina, I don't know. Non lo so. Um, let's see what else here. Um, surprise realizes on the show are the best. Yeah, surprises are always the best. Um, Anna says she's going to take a plastic poncho. I think that's what I'm going to do also. Not that it will help much if it's raining that hard. <laughs> uh, Mano, Manu says, my day was definitely the baddest day of the week. And then I saw the live. I say, oh, it saved, saved your day. Well, great. I'm glad it could. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you were having such a bad day. Um, it says no umbrellas as it obstructs the view. That's that's what I read, Camille, um, on the FAQ. Um, Ilex said, did Mika ever join an MFC Zoom? No, he has not ever. He's, he's joined the Instagram Live a number of times, but he's never joined um, a Zoom. So, uh, salute Nicole. Hi, name is not real. <laughs> um, ponchos all round, Andrea says. Yeah. Hey, my dog is wandering around. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm almost done. I think I am going to be wrapping it up pretty soon because he is getting, he's getting antsy and I'm running out of things to talk to you about anyway. I mean, I've covered everything that I wanted to say. So, uh, let's see. Karen says it's probably good that Mika hasn't joined a Zoom because she'd pa uh, panic. Um, yeah. He'd probably panic, I think, if he saw all of us and we all started talking at him. Um, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, let's see here. Crosby went looking for a poncho. No, he, I don't know what he was looking for, Anna, but he is now wrapped around this lamp here, and uh, I'm afraid he's going to pull it over. So if you hear lots of noise in that minute, you'll know what happened. Um, So let's see here. I think I think I've covered all of your questions. If anybody has anything else, let me know. 
but I think that's about it for now. And um, I'm really sorry. There was there were a couple people who had wanted to join the live and then kind of left. Oh, Karen. I'm going to bring Karen in. And Karen must have something to say. Do you have something to say, Karen? Ah, there she is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That was quick. I, I just heard you still talking about something else, and then uh, the message came up because it's always it seems to be always delayed because Instagram is messed up again. Always, it's it's good, but it's awful. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it's great that we can yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I shouldn't complain, but <laughs> so well, we can we can always still complain. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so were you gonna say something about the Zoom? Or, um, well, I can. It was nice. It was some um, uh, some new faces there that have never joined a Zoom, um, and uh, there was also Charlotte was there and and Kimberly, uh, some some of those who were on uh, um, on MFC Pride Live uh, last week or two weeks ago, I think, and um, and there was a. A friend who lives in Japan from Malaysia. Uh, she's also an MFC, and she is. Uh, she told us a lot about the um, about the gig, and especially about the meet and greet in uh, in Tokyo. The gig she went to. Nice. Uh, she was really excited, and it was nice to hear. You know, yeah. <laughs> a view from from someone who who isn't usually like uh, on our zooms or on our lives, and yeah, good, quite nice. And, yeah. And of course, I love talking with with everyone. Uh, also, um, see everyone that uh, that I know, and um, it was it's always nice to meet up. I, I've seen yesterday's like we haven't done a Zoom, we hadn't done a Zoom since February, and it, it only seemed like one or two months ago to me. It was February last wow. one. Time flies, really crazy. I didn't realize it had been that long. Yeah. yeah. So, because I didn't see a, a later entry on on the forum, so if if we haven't if we haven't deleted it by accident, I think that was the last one actually. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I had thought that maybe I could sort of have it on while I was driving and just sort of listen, and but I couldn't even do that. It was I'm, I just I had the dog in the car with me, and it was just too much. You know. <laughs> I would have been <laughs> driving off the road, so, um, and I didn't get home until it was, you know. You, you were driving yourself because your, your husband is somewhere else. Yeah, he okay. mm -hmm. fabulous Las Vegas on business, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, nice business trip. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, and the dog is, um, he, he's not a good traveler. He's a, he's a really awful traveler. He's. Mm. I'm harnessed in the seat, but he still moves around and he pants the whole time and he's just terrible. So mm. he's a big distraction. So okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I just wanted to say hi. I mean we we'll see each other next week. That'll yeah. be great. And um yeah. I'm looking forward to that so much. And um I appreciate that you did the Zoom yesterday since I could not be there, so that was good. And yeah, it was fun. That yeah, sounds like it. they're more fun when I'm not there. Maybe I should <laughs> just no. <laughs> that has uh, it's definitely uh, also a lot of fun when you're there. So. Um, it just it depends on and how many people join and who joins and how uh, everyone is uh, what, what everyone's mood is, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just different every time. And, um, yeah. Nice. <laughs> well. Thank anyway, as same as your same as your lives. There's also uh, different people here every time and different topics and for sure it's great always. Ever all <laughs> and different comments, crazy comments. Yes. <laughs> so well thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you next week. It'll be same. just yeah. so that's great. Great. Looking forward to it. Okay. So take care until then and we'll talk to you Bye. real soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up now. I thank you all for being here. I did want to mention um, one more thing. I, I forgot when we were talking about um, the uh, Mika Fan Club Pride. 
month. As I said, we have been um, observing Pride Month all month of June, and um, we have been doing a couple things that um, if you want to get involved in, you can. We have a photo competition right now. It's open for everybody. Um, we are just asking that you take a photo that captures what Pride means to you, and you can send it to us. Um, our original deadline was this coming Sunday, the 18th, I think, my memory. Um, I think it was the 18th. Um, we may extend that for a little while because we think we're going to, we, we need to judge the photos and we are um, going to get Mika to sign some items for us at Bristol that we're going to offer as prizes. And um, so, yeah. So if you would like to get involved with that, the, the details for that are in an Instagram story that's in the highlights here. Um, I have a highlight called MFC Pride, and uh, it has all of the um, stories that we've put out um, promoting all of the different activities for MFC Pride this month. Um, thanks to Celine, um, her graphic artist uh, technology wizard wizardry. Um, they look great, and uh, she's been doing those for us, and CJ um, also has been helping with that. Um, so yeah, look in our highlight. You'll see the details on the photo competition. Um, also, we have been running um, videos for um, the members of our LGBTQ plus community um, to get to know each other and to uh, so that we can get to know you. Um, You'll see that in the highlight as well. There's a lot of detail with that and some questions that you can answer to make the video. Um, so please, we'd like you to get involved with that if you can. And um, yes, there is going to be another um, MFC Pride Live. Uh, Charlotte hosted one to kick off the month on June 2nd, and she's going to host another one for us later this month. Um, we have not selected the date exactly yet. We were talking about possibly the 28th, Charlotte, um, if that still works for you. Um, but keep an eye out for that. And um, one other thing, we are going to do a Pride concert. We're going to feature some of our very talented LGBTQ fans who will sing and perform for us hopefully live but if technology doesn't smile on us then we will have some videos that we can um, share in a concert yes charlotte the, th the i'm sorry the 30th sorry about that i was thinking 28 days or you know after the second but yes it is the 30th <laughs> sorry we'll get it right when we when we promote it. Um, but anyway, about the concert, this is sort of the last call. If you would like to, if you are a member of the LGBTQ plus community and you would like to sing or perform or dance or something for us, we would love to include you. Um, we will be doing that the last week of June, probably on um, the Wednesday, which is the 28th. <laughs> um, and then we would do the um, live with Charlotte on the 30th. I'm sorry, I'm distracted because my dog is running around and um, he's making me a little nervous. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for that. He's just sometimes not very trustworthy and it's making me nervous. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so please get involved with some of the Pride activities um, if you can. Um, if you need more information, just write to me or write to CJ, who is just Panther CJ, and um, go over to MikaFanClub.com, and we have all of the information over there as well. So hopefully um, we can in include everybody who wants to get uh, involved in um, those activities. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. He's just kind of, it's time to end it because he has just completely distracted me. So I'm really sorry for being so scattered at the end here. Um, anyway, thank you all very much for being here. Yes, Phoebe, it is definitely a terrier thing. 
I agree. Um, and uh, I will not be here next week because I will be in Bristol. I will be in the UK all week. Um, so there will be no Instagram live. Um, we will probably do something while we're there, maybe in the queue. You can uh, see us making these flowers that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> and uh, who knows what else we'll be up to in the queue. And uh, then I will um, get back on to a regular schedule the following week. And uh, we'll see you all then. Uh, so until then, um, I hope you all have a good uh, rest of the week. And I will see you um, probably mm, two weeks from today. And uh, take care until then. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, <laughs> bye bye. Crosby, what are you doing? Crosby, what are you doing?